Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel, like this video and press the bell icon. In this video, you will learn how to create a Laravel 11 authentication system using Laravel Breeze. Laravel Breeze provides a simple and minimal implementation of all of Laravel's authentication features. We'll cover how to install it, configure it, and get your application up and running with user login, registration, password reset and verify email functionality. You may create new Laravel projects by globally installing the Laravel installer via Composer and then using the command Laravel new. But in this video, we will use the Composer create command to create a Laravel project. Copy this command. Go to the directory where you want to create your Laravel project. Right click and click on open in terminal. Paste the command which you have copied. Replace example app with your project name and press enter. It will take some time to download, depending on your internet connection, so please wait for the download to complete. The download is complete. Now type the command cd your project name and press enter to navigate to the project directory. Open your project in Visual Studio Code. Open composer.json file. Here you can see Laravel version is 11.9. Now open .env file. Here you will see that the database driver is set to SQLite with DB connection equals SQLite and other configurations have been commented out. First, uncomment these lines. Now replace SQLite with MySQL as we will use a MySQL database. Here enter your database name. Open XAMPP server and start Apache and MySQL. Now we will create a database. Go to your browser and open phpMyAdmin. Click on New to create a database. Copy this database name. Paste the database name here and click on Create to create the database. The database has been created. Now, before migrating the database, let's install Laravel Breeze. Click on Starter Kits. Click on Breeze and Blade. First we will install Breeze package using Composer. Click here to copy the command. Click here and open a new terminal. Paste the command which you have copied and press Enter. It will take some time to download the Breeze package, depending on your internet connection, so please wait for the download to complete. The download is complete. Now we will install Blade Stack using the Breeze install command. Copy this command. Paste the command in your terminal and press enter. Now you will see a prompt, which Breeze stack would you like to install? We will use Blade with Alpine so type Blade and press enter. Now you will be asked for dark mode support, type yes and press enter. Now you will be asked for testing framework, type 0 for pest or type 1 for PHP unit and press enter. It will take some time to install Breeze's scaffolding, so please wait for the installation to complete. The installation has been completed. Now we will migrate the database. Copy this command. 
Paste the command and press enter to migrate the database. The database has been migrated. Go to phpMyAdmin and reload the page and you will see all the tables in the database. Now we need to install all the dependencies. Copy this command. Paste the command in your terminal and press enter. The dependencies have been installed. Now we need to compile and bundle the front-end assets. Copy this command. Paste the command and press enter. Now, let's run our app. Click here and open a new terminal. Type the command, php artisan serve and press enter. Go to your browser and navigate to localhost colon 8000 and you will see Laravel 11 welcome page with login and register links. Click on the login link and you will see login page. Click on the forgot your password link and you will see forgot password page. Click on the register link. Let's register a user. Enter name, email, password, confirm password and click on register to register a user. You will be redirected to the dashboard page. Click here and you will see profile and logout links. Click on the profile link. Here you can update your profile, update password, and delete your account. Make changes to the last name, click on save, and you will see the name is updated. Now enter current password, new password, confirm password and click on save to update your password. You will see your password has been updated. Now, let's implement the verify email feature. Whenever a user registers, an email will be sent to their registered email address. This email will contain a verify email button. When the user clicks on the button, their account will be verified, and they will be redirected to the dashboard. If the user doesn't verify their email, they will see a page displaying a message to verify their email. Go to phpMyAdmin. Click on the users table. After implementing the verify email feature, the email verified at column will show a timestamp instead of null when the user verifies their account. Click on logout to log out from this account. Go back to Visual Studio Code. Now, open user model which is inside app HTTP models folder. Here we need to add the must verify email interface using the implements keyword. So, uncomment the first line and then add implements must verify email. To test the email verification feature, we'll use MailTrap. MailTrap is a tool that allows us to safely test email functionality by capturing emails sent by our application without actually sending them to real email addresses. Go to your browser and navigate to MailTrap.io, sign up using your email, and then log in using your email and password. After logging in, you'll see a page is shown. Click on the Start Sending button inside the Email Testing section. Now click on My Inbox. Here on the right-hand side, you'll see the credentials for your account, such as host, port, username, and password. We need to add these to the .env file. Click here to copy the host. Open.env file. In the mail mailer, add SMTP. In the mail host, paste the host which you have copied. Now we need to add username and password. Click here to copy the username. Paste the username in the mail username. Click here to copy the password. Paste the password in the mail password. Close.env file. Now, let's test the verify email feature. Go back to your browser. Click on the register link. Register a new user by entering name, email, password and confirm password. You can see the page is loading, which indicates that the verification email is being sent to the user's email address.
Now, you will see a message asking you to verify your email address. You can also click on resend verification email to send a new verification email to your account. Go to your MailTrap inbox and you will see an email to verify your email address. Click on this email and you will see an email with a verify email address button. Before clicking on this button, go to phpMyAdmin and reload the page. Here you will see that the email verified at field is null for Jane Doe's account. When you click on the verify email address button, it will be replaced by a timestamp. Click on this button and you will be redirected to the dashboard and your email address will be verified. Click here and click on the profile link and you will see the profile page. Go to phpMyAdmin and reload the page. You will see that a timestamp has been added in the email verified at field in Jane Doe's account. Now, let's see the forgot password feature. Click here and click on the logout link. Now click on the login link. Click on forgot your password link and you will be redirected to the forgot password page. Enter the email address and click on the email password link button. You can see the page is loading, which indicates that the forgot password email is being sent to the user's email address. Now you will see a message, we have emailed your password reset link. Go to your MailTrap inbox and you will see an email for reset your password. Click on this mail. You will see an email with reset password button. Click on this button and you will be redirected to reset password page. Enter password, confirm password and click on reset password to reset your password. You can see the message, your password has been reset. Enter your email and new password and click on login and you will be redirected to the dashboard page. In this video, we learned how to implement authentication in Laravel 11 using the Laravel Breeze package. We also learned how to set up email verification and forgot password features. Thanks for watching. Please like and share this video and subscribe to my channel. I will see you in next tutorial, till then stay safe.